damn. It's been a lot, a lot of twists and turns with this whole Tori and Meg story. Has it? I remember you was telling me, like, yeah, I think this, uh, I think, I think Megan for a comeback. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, we was talking about that <laughs> earlier because yeah. I mean, for anybody who ain't been tuned in to what we've been talking about, you know, I know we have a small following. Some of you have seen that. I've been standing with Meg pretty much from the jump. I always felt like the evidence kind of just more aligned with her account of events. And she was getting a lot of backlash. Uh, to me, I think it highlighted a lot of uh, what's wrong with the hip hop community. Um, the hip hop community is hard on women right now. I seen I seen women going hard on Meg just as hard as, as as men were, you feel me? And um I think a lot of it had to do with her being a woman. Sadly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You think it had think to do she, with her being a savage, you said? No, nah, her oh. with her being a woman. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, she's a self-proclaimed savage, you know what I'm saying? I don't think <laughs> that that was a problem. I think they had more problem with her being a woman than a savage, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? By um, a woman. Yep. But but I feel like now the tide is turning. And I think two big wins for Meg is her, her winning with the legal battle with 5150. That small win that she got there. We're gonna go into that in more more detail, but also this audio being leaked of Tory Lane's uh, phone call to Kelsey at the jail. That, I think, really kind of changed people's perspective on that. Before we even go into that, let's go ahead and just play a little bit of that for anybody that maybe missed that. By now, everybody should have heard that. That's like the phone call heard around the world at this point, but we can't assume that everybody's up to speed on shit like we is. So we're going to go ahead and go to that real quick. Without further ado, we're going to um, actually play it from uh, Streets TV. They got the phone call that um, everybody else is uh, posting. Oh, no. My bad. I need to this is a free call yeah, from Sorry. an inmate at LAPD Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. Press 1 to accept the call. To deny this call... Thank you for using Telmate. Hello. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I got out. Say some anything. Huh? Yeah, I got out. You know anything that I could? I'm uh, still in the hospital. I'm outside the hospital. What hospital are y'all at? About what? You said what? You're listening to Street TV. I said Megan's in the hospital still. So I'm um I'm outside the hospital waiting. What hospital are you at? Uh, I don't know. Um, let me see. Cedar, something like that. Cedar. No, no problem. Sure. I know she probably never ever gonna talk to me ever again. But, bruh, I just want you to know, bruh. <laughs> he said, "I know she probably ain't gonna talk to me ever ever again." <laughs> That's yeah, that that's the first place maybe we should stop at. Notice up until this point, Kelsey doesn't sound apologetic about anything. She don't sound worried. And he's saying that Megan's never going to speak to him ever again. He's not feeling that Megan's not going to ever speak to Kelsey ever again. As a matter of fact, Kelsey's outside at the hospital supporting him. Do you get what I'm if, saying? If, if, if we was if we was gonna go with the narrative that his defense was giving us, wouldn't she be maybe never speaking to Kelsey again if that's the person who indeed shot her? But I thought that was the case. I thought they're not talking anymore and they're not cool. Well, now, but we're yeah. talking about this happening that, right after situation. the incident, right? Yeah. And yeah. I'll I'll point out another thing. Put this in your mind. This. This call fits into the narrative of uh, 
a person who is expecting to get paid. I think Kelsey either got paid or was expecting to get paid. Just just remember that. Oh, I'm you think that out he there. brought? Oh, you think he gave her the bag to do all of this, and she didn't give it to? Just man. just keep that in because he's saying that his. Remember his defense said that Kelsey shot Mac. It wasn't Tory. Kelsey's the one who shot Mac because they was fighting and in a jealous rage about him, right? Just look at Kelsey's demeanor and the things that she's going to say later in this um, phone call. All right, we'll continue. What's going on, bro? That ass. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on, bro. Like that ass, nigga. I'd never do some shit like that, bro. Just that, that nigga, I was just so fucking drunk, nigga. I just didn't even understand what the fuck was going on, bro. He's apologizing, says, I'll never do some shit like that. It was just I was so drunk, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So if anybody wanted to know what was the motive or why Tory Lanez could have shot a young lady or something like that, I think that we have it right there. There was a lot of alcohol involved, and he admitted himself he didn't know what the hell was going on. Let's continue. Like, so I, whatever. Yeah. Regardless, that's not gonna make anything right, and that's not gonna make my actions right, bro. But I'm just deeply sorry. Bro. Not make my actions right. Yeah. My actions right. He ain't talk about nobody else's actions. Remember, his defense said Kelsey shot Bang. Don't you think that he would, you know, maybe Kelsey would be expressing some kind of remorse about something that happened that night, if that was the case? But let's continue. Like that. I haven't moved like that at all, bro. Like, for real, for real, dog. I know. There's a lot. A lot that happens, but... A whole lot, bro. Like, a whole lot, bro. I feel like... I feel crazy, bro, but... It's okay, like... What happened happened already, bro. I can't take it back, bro. I just felt... I'm just telling y'all I'm sorry, bro. Like... You're listening to Street TV. I think it was just too drunk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I got to when I got to the house, uh, I'm sure you like all top niggas. They gave me like five shots, like off the door. Like you feel me? So I was out of there, like but in there with niggas. Like you feel me? <laughs> Yo, Tory ain't got enough fat on him to grease a goddamn pan. He don't need to be drinking no five shots. <laughs> you get me? At no point. I wasn't even there with niggas like bro. I don't even know. I don't even remember what we was even arguing about, bro. Like, like Yeah, no, I don't I don't um I didn't even I was already fucked up by the time you got there, so I don't I don't know how much it's like you know you don't sound like, messed up. <laughs> tell, me, tell me what um Yeah what Yeah, I'll take note of that too. Kelsey don't sound drunk. He do. At all. Yeah. He sound like he hung over. You're right. <laughs> yeah, but he in jail, so it's like I don't so know. Up real yeah, quick, I mean, know. I'd be stressed out too. You feel me? If I was in jail for a shooting, you know what I'm saying? I'm a I'm a fella with a weapon. You know what I'm saying? Is oh, he he's a fella? I don't think he's a fella. I don't know. He but got an unregistered US. weapon though. It's the he US. ain't supposed to have no guns in California. I know that, but let's continue. Let's see here. You're listening to Street TV. I just told you, uh, Cedar Medical. All right. Um, you ain't got Quan's number, right? You ain't got my security number. Quan, I do have his uh, number. Can you call this nigga Quan and tell this nigga, bro? Um, you get a chance, bro. Just figure out what you got to do to bail me out this shit. Okay. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. I'm sorry again, bro. Like, yeah, thank you. Bro. I, well, I think, I think, honestly, <laughs> I think we're gonna try to, um, because obviously, like, the longer you're in there, the more hot it's gonna get. Because you know, it's already on. Like, there's no names released yet, but the report is already, it's already out. You know. See, she said, I think we're gonna try to, because the longer you stay in there, the hotter it's gonna get. That sounds to me like her and Megan is going to be in, 
you know, some kind of concerted effort to get him out because we want to keep this story under wraps because we want to get our bag. Our bag for what? For keeping oh, from the him. story under wraps. They right. said that he offered bread. So I think at this point, Kelsey's like, you know, we can't take nothing back. Meg shot, you feel me, at this point. Let's just keep it gangster, you feel me? Get our bag, and we'll just, you know, move forward from here. She probably walked off with the bag, Kelsey. I think she did get a bag because her the way her testimony was, like, crazy, you feel me, at the trial, you know what I'm saying? Like, it leads me to suspect that she got a bag. I can't prove that, you know, we, we don't know. But I kind of feel like that could be possible, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and continue. She made everybody feel like you made a shot her. You wanted that out there. Like she did that. She did do that. Yeah, that's why he wanted to say, but but see if see if my narrative makes more sense than she shot her. You feel me? Whether she's somebody who's expected to get bread or is this somebody who just shot her friend. Look. Uh, but like out is what? What you mean? Out is it's on some app. You know, Megan's Megan's team is on top of this. So. Yeah, but, like, niggas can't don't... Niggas don't... There's no way that Megan's on, like, the thing. No, there's no... What'd you say? There's no way that Megan's, like, on the thing. You're listening to Street TV. No, no, no. No, so far, none of that is there. But, I mean... Yeah, I don't think it's going to be one of those. If anything, the only nigga that's going to get this backlash is me. It's not going to be her. Um, yeah. but... But, yeah, but I'll nah, let all right, I'm going to get back last. It is what it is. Uh, uh, regardless if I get out of here today or not, bro, I just want to let y'all know, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Like, I never did that shit if I wasn't that drunk, bro. Like, you feel me? Yeah. You have one he minute for me. He said, I would never have done that shit if I wasn't that drunk. What is he talking about? You know, there's still people out there who will say... <laughs> He never confessed to shooting anybody. What this is Tory doing is apologizing for sleeping with both of them and admitting it during an argument. What do you say to those who say that, Mom? I mean, <laughs> to me, it just sounds like, he, you know, something happened. I don't know what, but hey, and using their words, a lot happened. Yeah, <laughs> a whole lot happened. So, so I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I hope this is, you know, I hope this is I hope she could just stop getting a lot of the, the backlash. I hope Meg could stop getting a lot of the backlash that she's been getting. I hope this will kind of help her situation a little bit more because I think I that think I think she could have not had the backlash. If she if she could start this over, I think she could have did some things better that would have had it more, you know what I mean? I think she kind of, you know, she could have did some things different that could have not had it. I think it. so. Yeah. I think so, but I try to keep in my mind that yeah, there, there are no perfect victims. You right. know, she, 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 yeah, she didn't do everything right, but she didn't but I think that she didn't really want, is. yeah, I don't think she really wanted him to get in trouble too. And I feel like that's what's going, you get what I mean? Like stand yeah. on something. If you go, yeah. if you go, I mean, you know what I mean? Call the police. You need to be able to, don't try to deter what happened. And you know what I'm saying? You got to just nah, stand I all think, the way. I think it. that I, I can't say that, you know what I'm saying? I feel yeah. like sometimes at the scene, you might not want to fess up, you know what I'm saying? But then you might think about it later and be like, yo, I, I've been assaulted. I, I feel like that happens a lot when, uh, especially when women get assaulted by men. They might feel like they want to let it slide at first, but they might get to thinking and being like, you know what? This ain't right. <laughs> and she was, remember, she was getting a lot of backlash when this story came out. People were saying that she was lying about getting shot. People still making jokes about it in songs. And, um, they were even saying that maybe she brought, if something did happen, maybe she brought it upon herself. Maybe she was assaulting Tory. That's the kind of stories that was going around at first. So, you know, 
I can see how she's changed her mind. But speaking about Meg, there was another win uh, that we could chalk up to her. Uh, she's been going uh, through a big legal battle with 5150, her former label, and it seems like she, she got a that? small victory in court. It ain't over. She ain't win the war, but she won the battle. Just to give people some context, uh, Megan Thee Stallion's uh, legal battle against 50, 1501 moving the trial. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion's lawsuit against 1501 certified entertainment is officially going to trial after the Houston rapper scored an early legal win. Rolling Stone reported a judge sided with the 27-year-old musician in a pretrial ruling, according to the outlet. A Texas judge declined the, uh, the, the record label's request to claim the 2021 project, Something for the Hotties, did not count as an album in the rapper's legal name, Megan Pete, contract terms. That's crazy. Oh, she like, signed I'm, as Megan Pete? Yeah, she signed as Megan Pete, but that's that's not really what's, what's uh, the major point of contention here. Imagine you signed to a record label, right? And they said that, oh, we got you for three albums, right? Right. And you dropped three albums and you trying to get out of the deal because somebody else got a bigger bag for you, though, right? Because I think they had her on the 360 because they're trying to get money from her going on tour and other shit, too. But maybe we'll get to that later in the article. But but let's just deal with where we at right now. What if they come back and tell you after you done made the three albums? Like, no, nah, one of them was a mixtape. You feel me? Like, that was a mixtape because they had a lot of shit that was on YouTube already. You feel me? Like, what? Bro. Like, I don't give a fuck if that shit was on YouTube. I ain't never released it nowhere, you feel me? Like, it had a few joints, but I put it together. That's an album. They were like, nah, man, that ain't that ain't an album. That's, that's a mixtape. We need another one, you feel me? I'm kind of feeling where she coming from. You know what I'm saying? Record labels will do stuff like that, though. Try to keep you locked down for long. Try to get some more money. Exactly. It's a strategy, you know? Yeah, so... um. 1501 was founded by Carl Crawford. He made the request in September of 2021 and argued the court should dismiss the pending trial under these circumstances. Oh, she's suing them? Yeah. I thought they were suing her. So they still I got think control. it's like some suing going back and forth. Maybe we could get got some you. more context. Or Pete should be allowed her day in That's court. That's her last name? Evidence. Yeah. Megan yeah. Pete. Never heard of somebody named that last name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's seeking a million dollars in damage against the uh, entertainment company. Her full claim argues that, uh, including Traumazine, the album released in 22, she has fulfilled all of the obligations of 1501 certified in accordance with the recording agreement she signed in 2018. And the label argues that the inclusion of freestyles available on YouTube and other previously heard but never officially released music dating back as far as 2019 disqualified the project from album status, according to the record label. Megan's contractual agreement stipulates that an album has to include at least 12 new master recordings of her studio performances of previously unreleased musical compositions. So, yeah, man. Uh, the source story for that is the uh, Rolling Stones. You can see it here on Yahoo Entertainment uh, Vibe Story. They quoted Rolling Stones in that article. Uh, I encourage everybody to read it in its entirety. But uh, how do you feel about Megan's image right now, Bob? Is this the? Is this a? You feel me? A comeback for Meg? Uh, I'm bad. Why would you say a comeback though? <laughs> you right, you man. She, she ain't never really left. I think <laughs> she was getting a lot of bad press though. Like I felt like everybody felt like there was a fringe part of the hip hop community that was getting bigger and bigger that felt like she was this is why this uh, is why I feel like unlikable. She, yeah, because she exposed some things that her lifestyle, and it was like yeah, a lot of people looked at that and was like, yeah, you know. I think yeah. that's where it came from. 
I think you know? I, I, yeah, but you know, shaming women for having sex with people, that's to me, that's like that's like caveman type of thinking. No, like, I didn't shame it. No, 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 no. It's not shaming them. It's just a uh you got people that don't agree with, you know what I mean, the lifestyle of some of these rappers. So, you know, that's where, you know, rapping women and men. So it's like rapping men get the same, you know, that you saying that rappers get that. And you, I think you taking that away from her. She's a rapper. You get what I mean? She's a rapper and rappers get bad. You know, they just, their lifestyle is not seen as, you know, some of the public unless they're fans. It's just not seen as. I don't think, I don't think men get it that bad. Like, honestly, I think if the role was reversed, right? If, if Diddy got shot you feel me, by, <laughs> by his chick, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that. I don't think people would have came at him like that, though. I don't think people would have th thought he was messing it up. He didn't really get shot. You know what I'm saying? Just because she lied about, like, like I'm just saying that because Diddy has been seen with a lot of different people, you know what I'm saying? And he gets praised for it, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think that they would bring up his his exploits, you feel me, if he got shot and be, use that to discredit him, like, because he lied about this or that. Like, but that's what they were using against her. It was like... I'm totally for you, but you got to understand with male and female is not, we're not looked at as the same. So it's, I'm not trying it's to hard say we to should compare. Be. I know, but I'm saying when you say that with, with uh Diddy, because it's like we have not seen, I mean, how many instances have you gonna see of a man, you know, lying on a woman and done something to him? You don't really, you know, that's not the you know, but you get a lot of we get a lot of stories where we hear of, you know, where it's just a lot of you know, arguing with women and where they you know, can control. Yeah, that, that, I mean, we've heard it. stories. We've heard a lot of stories about maybe women. As I shake my screen here, yeah, uh, we see a lot of stories about women lying about stuff and finding out about that. But we yeah, also maybe. see a lot. But but when in all fairness, we see a lot of stories where women really are getting assaulted by men. Yeah, I know about and it. Yeah. So so you know, we got to judge it by by a case by case basis. And I just don't think it was fair that people kept on bringing up her sleeping with men to say that, well, if if she's lying about that, she's lying about getting shot. I just don't think that was like a, a logical, logical jump to make. You know, and I don't think they would have did a man like that. I think that it, they we, we go hard on women. And I right. say we because I'm in the hip hop community, but I ain't saying me because I I recognize that they was going a little hard on her and they wasn't really being fair. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it, 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 a lot of it has to do with the halo effect, man. How much you like something, someone influences your judgments of them. And because Tori had better music, they believed him. <laughs> I don't think so. It was Tori had better music. I just think, I think the that was lifestyle. Part of it. No, I'm telling you that when you think, if you think, if you look Tori at. Tori got the same lifestyle. I know, but I'm just saying when you look at a woman lifestyle that's like that, that's all that's like uh, want men with money and like, okay, you know, like that whole stigma, get the bag and like, you just, you're going to see where people can want to fall for that, uh, you know, stigma on them. If Megan Thee Stallion, okay, I'm going to give you somebody else who would have got shot in the foot and it would have been nothing like this. Uh, I'm going to give you another woman for an example. Uh, let's say if it was somebody like Stacy Dash. Okay. I'm just I'm just saying because okay. I don't hear her out. Like we don't see nothing that, you know, she's like, you know, Somebody that's not in that light like that, I don't think they would have got that uh the same bad publicity that Megan got. You get what I'm saying? I think her lifestyle kind of tend to make people look like that. It's like I think I think it has a lot to do with her being a rapper. I I'll, I'll kind of yeah. still still man your point because I think that it's the hip hop community that has this misogynistic view towards women and they're too hard on women like we got to be better about that the hip-hop community need to be better about being so hard on um 
gay stuff. But I think they've actually come a long way. I think the hip hop community has go, come a long way with that. Yeah, but look who we got on, in the hip hop, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah, at the end of the yeah, day, yeah. And, and, but but going hard on women is like a thing, man. That 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 I saw, like I see it mostly in the comment section. You know, like the people were just had a lot of nasty things to say about Meg, and it was mostly about what she was doing with her sex life. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you, that's normal. Listen, that, what that you're should, saying, I'm not talking normal. about. I'm not talking about as far as you shouldn't uh, have that, but I'm saying. People are not going to hold you to the same uh, moral standards as somebody if you don't, you know, if you show that. Like rappers right now, people probably not going to want to hang around a rapper because they feel like, yo, you might get wet up on, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just certain things when you live in a lifestyle, people going to have, there's nothing you could do about it, you know? <laughs> that just has nothing to do with getting shot, though. I don't understand I how, know. Like, how that has nothing no, to do I'm with No, I'm saying it. about the whole the beef about her getting stopped where where people are not taking her side and i'm telling you if she would have been if this was another woman that wasn't a rapper and she was just like you saying i don't think we would have looked at it and that's, been trying to like well i agree yeah. with you and that that i think that's a problem i think it would have been it would have made me feel like the world was a better place if people were more supportive of her like damn this is a woman that got shot we're going to use this as an example to lift her up. We ain't going to bring none of that personal stuff. Like, that's her business. You know what I'm saying? We respect her privacy. At the end of the day, we're not standing by no dude who it even looks, until we figure out what happens, you feel me, we kind of cool off you. You know what I'm saying? I know it's like an innocent until proven guilty thing or supposed to be, but I think it was just too much evidence against him, too much, like, you know, reasonable suspicion for people right. to have been so close to him and supporting him and making it seem like she was the bad guy. I just, I, I was kind of disappointed at how we reacted into it. And maybe that's because, I don't know, man, I remember even having a, a long conversation. I was on a road trip with my mom talking about this. Yeah. And I just couldn't be talking with my mom. Defending yeah. Tory Lanez, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, I mean, I didn't feel like that anyway, but right. it would have been crazy trying to explain to my mom why we need to be kicking Megan's back in, you feel me, and, and, and defending Tory Lanez like he's some kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like like, like, yeah. like he's Huey P or something. Like he's some kind of hero. Like he did something for, 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 for like, Man, he ain't he ain't nobody special, man. But think about this now. I don't know if you hear about this report, but there's a report with Javante Davis. I'm gonna give you a prime example, right? Oh, this is a Javante good one. Davis said locked up that in Broward he got County. Locked up, right? Yeah. And the accuser, his was saying like, "Hey, yeah, that's a you know, I didn't, you know, that didn't even happen." So we got a lot of black men that get locked up. You know what I mean? On cases. His 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 accuser is now saying that it didn't happen. Yeah. That's what Well, you know what? Honestly, I don't know. Like when it comes to domestic <laughs> stuff, like like honestly, I don't know that much about that case. I know that he did get arrested in Broward County. I happen to be in Broward County. So right. you feel me? Now there's now she's recanting the story, but that's a common thing that happens in domestic disputes. Yeah, you're honestly, right, you're right, honestly you're right. like if I was Javante, I'd be like, listen, you need to protect the bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you need to tell those people nothing happened. You feel me? And that you made it up so I could get back to buying Birkins. <laughs> you know, and, and, and taking you on shopping sprees and flying you out. You know, or is you trying to bring me down? You know, I'm still nice with these. I'm young. You feel me? You want to be what brings me down? She probably got her mind right and was like, I ain't going to say that's getting her mind right. <laughs> feel me? But she, right, I can see her having think about a change it, But of think heart. about yeah. this, though. I'm saying yeah. in this situation right here, right? Right. Even yeah. though you say you said yeah. you yeah. yeah. But he hit her, right? If anything happened, right? If it was true that it happened, all I'm saying is. Yeah. she's going to have to stand. You don't, you shouldn't be around the guy. You get what I mean? You can't say, bro, for money, you got locked up for this. I done put you in jail. And now it's like, okay, 
for the bag, we're going to, you know, fuck it. Let's just, you know. Well, we don't know who is telling the truth, honestly. I don't want to put that on her. You know <laughs> but you saying? get what but I'm saying? I just right, think it's a bad situation. It and then I've seen a video, honestly, you know what I'm saying? You can't judge everybody by, like, a little clip. But I did see a video in the past where he was getting physical with a woman. And it just kind of showed me that, damn, he got an anger problem, you know? Yeah. So it's not that hard for me to believe that somebody could have got assaulted. And I honestly know that if you're in a toxic relationship, that could have been an instance where she was an aggressor. But, you know, things can get crazy, man. We don't know what happened, though. He, she could have started it. He could have reacted. But then at that point, it's like maybe y'all both need to you know what i'm saying i don't know man i don't want to i don't want to litigate the case i ain't trying to crack the case really you feel me but honestly let's try to extract a lesson from here let's try to see the moral of the story you know what i'm saying so we doing the greater good right here you know what I'm saying what, what we're doing here in that particular situation he should have got the hell out of there you know I don't even know how we got here. I don't even know if you asked me what he no, should have been doing, like, but yeah. yeah, we just we just go back and forth because they were actually together, so it's I, like. But but look, honestly, if you're yeah. in a situation where you with somebody who is gonna raise their voice, raise their hand to you, say things that are violent, you know, call you out your name or make threats, you need to cut it in the bud right then and there because that's only gonna lead to physical violence. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all can't handle the differences in a civil manner, you know, if she can't make a sandwich for you when she mad at you, you, know, mm. you don't need to be with her <laughs> straight up because it's going gonna, it's gonna to go to a, a dark path. I've been there before. Yeah, it ain't good. I it ain't good. That, it ain't good. But I don't know. That's probably a good way. That's probably a good place to go ahead and cut it off. <laughs> yeah, man. We're going to uh, you know, keep them up to date with some stuff. We're going to keep you out with the shorts. Yeah, man. Coming into the new year, man. I mean, everybody got a, a New Year's resolution. <laughs> but as True News and Reviews, man, I want us to make a resolution uh -huh. to just go a little bit harder, man. I feel like we can knock one of these out every day, man. We put our mind to it, or at least go on like we should try to at least go on a stretch, man. Like, let's see if we could go on a seven day stretch or something like that. Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah, little just good marathon. 2023, yeah, man. We just got to get some good topic that's going to help people understand the decision making and learning from all of these mistakes. But yeah, man, I think the hip hop culture is very, it's sick. Very it's sick. Hey, hip hop ain't dead, but it's very ill. <laughs> you yeah. see what I did there? <laughs> with the, but yeah, man. That yo, we I shouldn't even said that, man. We might have to put that on the shirt or something, man. What? I that, too, uh, too much. Hip hop ain't good. dead, but it's very ill. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Like it's, it's problems, on death bed right now yeah. for me, man. So yeah, yeah man, man. we're gonna get them up on the next one, man. Y'all can catch us. Y'all know we offer uh we do we still doing water treatment, so uh Definitely hit us up at Wholesale Environmental Solutions, environmentally.com, where we can get you right. And y'all can catch Cap at on Facebook at uh Yeah, Jai Israel on Jai Facebook. Jai Israel. Yeah, uh, put in uh, Jcap Israel at Gmail. You search me and your boy will pop up. You see if I got a quote for these folks, man. Yeah. 